It's the polling pregame report brought to you exclusively by EMS and harvesting ready when your crops are and 97.5 KLMX The Bear. Every week, myself, Anna Haston, along with David Daney and guests, will chat with coaches, meet with players, and bring you the inside scoop on what excitement is to come during this week's Yellow Jacket Varsity Football Face-Off. Catch the polling pregame report on air Fridays at 10 a.m. and online noon Fridays at klmx.us slash sports. Get your questions answered on air or send us your comments and or well wishes at klmx.sports at gmail.com. It's the Pulling Pregame Report. Now let's talk some ball. Welcome back to another edition of the Pulling Pregame Report. I'm here today with Kylie, Lauren, Morgan, and Braylon. And they are some seniors, four of the five seniors on the Clayton Yellow Jacket volleyball team. Thank you ladies for coming in today. Thank you for having us. So I want to hear all about the Logan tournament. Let's start there. Who, who wants to go first? Tell me how that went. Um, okay, I'll go. Okay. Um, first we played Logan for two sets. The first time we came out, we played kind of nervous, like, but when we came back in the second set, we played really good and we ended up beating them and never in like my whole high school volleyball career have we ever beat Logan for a set. Wow. Um, then we went to play Floyd, beat them in two sets, played Mascara, we beat them in two sets and that was all pool play. Then we went into the actual bracket and we played Floyd that night. There was a lot of games that day. We didn't win that game but then... We played Elida. Elida, sorry. We played Elida and then... Um, then we came back Saturday and we played Floyd again. We beat them in three sets. And then we played Logan again. Um, won the first set, lost the second two, won the fourth one. And then in the fifth set, we did end up losing. But it was a very back and forth game. Wow. Yeah, Big we lost like 10 to 15 or something like that. Yes, it was very close. Wow, that sounds intense. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say set, like that's a game, right? The, so, for a high school volleyball game, there's a maximum of five sets, a minimum of three sets. And so it's the best three out of five. So if you win your first three, it's done. But if not, you just gotta keep playing until somebody wins three sets. But in volleyball, like our rankings, each set counts. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's based on how many points you've won by, how many sets you've won all together. It all goes into yes. a factor of ranking. Wow. Yes, the first four sets are 25 points. The fifth set, if we go into fifth set, is to 15. So when you're doing that in a tournament, like, are you exhausted? Oh, yes. yeah. We played, like, over 21 sets. I think it was Oh, my sets. gosh. Yeah. And then by the last set of Logan game, we were all just so delirious and tired. It wasn't yeah. even funny. Oh, I bet. Like, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have time for much else after that but a good nap and some food, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so until noon the next day. <laughs> I bet, I bet. Wow, that's impressive. So, what do you do to get prepared for that game? Uh, going into that physically, what do you do to get prepared? Well, our gym is really hot. Yeah, yeah. so we were prepared yeah. in that yeah. aspect. Yeah. Is their gym comparable over there? Was it pretty hot? No, it felt so good in their gym. It wasn't hot until you were like really playing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Probably like game 15, 16, you were starting to heat up a little yeah. bit, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Does, um, so you guys get to do all these fun exercises and different types of workouts, your coach was saying, mm -hmm. Coach Funk, who couldn't be here today. Today? Today? Today. today. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> who could not be here today. Um, however, he, he was mentioning the other workouts that you guys get to do. Do you feel like that is also a part of just that, the conditioning that keeps you going on these long sets? Yes. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. And like, we just call her Pam because her because we do Pamela Ryan, her workout. Okay. Yeah. So it's really helped us in cheer too, like getting our jumps higher and stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Do you all cheer? I don't. You don't cheer. Four, three. <laughs> but you three cheer. Four out of the five, five cheer. cheer. Yeah. Four out of the five. So you're the only one that does not cheer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so you guys are just crazy busy as well. But yes. every senior has a state title. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's got to feel amazing, right? We have two. And then all the other three have one. Mm -hmm. Okay, basketball and cheer. Yes. Right, you have both. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good job. Yeah. That's amazing. Good luck. Kill us. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a competition. <laughs> it's kind of a competition. <laughs> no, that's really impressive. Congratulations, Thank ladies. Um, and you're going to collect some more. Oh, yeah. right? 
actually a few more. So we're gonna get some volleyball ones this year, and we're gonna also collect some what like, track basketball, and basketball. Look how football is doing. Maybe we could get one of football yeah, too. Maybe football. I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The are doing good. Doing good. Yeah, they are doing awesome. good. And going into your next game, this I'm super excited about. We finally get to come. <laughs> Yeah. travel and we go to Mascaro, right? Yes. yes. So this one was postponed. You guys were supposed to play on Thursday. Mm -hmm. You but you guys probably were maybe happy for a little break. A little oh, yeah. Yeah. We needed to recover. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure after 21 sets. Like yeah. I'm still like just stuck on that there. That's awesome. So tell me about this game. What what do you think going into that game? What do you guys have to work on? Well, we played pretty good when we played them in low game, but we had to adjust our defense. Okay. And now we got that adjusted, I think we're going to play pretty well. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Um, Roy's not awful. Like, they're pretty good. Like, they have the athleticism. Like, if you aren't playing your best, they'll probably beat you. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. But if we play our level, there's no competition. I feel like there's no way yeah. that we wouldn't be able to keep up. Mm -hmm. And where do you where do you think that level comes from? Do you, is it just from playing with each other for so long, or what it, what is that? I feel like it's not having negativity mm -hmm. and like us just wanting to do as best as we can and not getting onto each other for it. Yeah, we're pretty good at working together since yeah. we have been together for so long. We have yeah. a lot of varsity experience with five seniors and yeah, it's a fortune. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Well, we can't wait to see you guys next week. And we'll be there rooting you guys on. And we hope everybody, that is a very close game. We hope you guys can all get out there and go support these young ladies on their journey to the blue. Like, we're going to bring it home this year for volleyball, yes. yes. How long has it been? Does oh, anybody know? I don't think oh we've ever God. won one. I don't one. think they've ever got one. Really? Yeah, I don't think there is This one. is our year. Yeah, and we stopped winning state basketball when volleyball became a sport in Clayton, so I feel like it's only right that For we win volleyball. Yeah, right after yeah, basketball. I like that. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. Moving on. Okay, very good. Well, thank you ladies so much for coming in here. Do you have anything else you'd like to leave us with? No, no, no. Thank you. Yeah, yes, no. thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm going to send it back to David's segment. He actually got to speak with the boys' football team yesterday, and we're going to head over there right now. Okay. Let's go see him. Let's, Let's go, go Yellow Jackets! Um, um, I miss you uh, very much and uh, good luck on your next you game. Sarah. And what was your message? Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, go Uncle John John. Uncle John John! <laughs> uh, this was a fantastic game. Uh, yeah. You guys had to work really hard. Defense did fantastic. Uh, offense, you guys are getting it together and you guys just look great. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Corbin! Very good. good. You did really good, buddy. All right. Yeah. Just good luck and keep working hard like, like they have been the last two weeks. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Yeah, man. Just keep up the hard work. I don't know what good job. Keep going. Way to go, boys. Keep on going. <laughs> Started off slow and then Coach talked to us during halftime and then just got us up. All right, welcome everyone to episode three of the polling pregame report. I am David Daney and I am here with Coach Montoya, Coach Garcia, Triton Polling, and of course, Jerry Archuleta, who is uh, of course, known by everyone, I guess, by now. <laughs> if you're not, then you need to definitely watch the games or listen to our podcast or broadcast so you, then you will know who he is. Coach. Yes, sir. 2-0. 2-0. Oh. 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 Feels great, right? Good yes, start sir. to the season. Oh, yeah. So, can you tell me, how did you feel about Saturday's game as a whole? I know you guys won, but, but you know, you see it with the coach's eye. I see it with a, <clears throat> with a fan's eye. How did you feel about the game as a whole? Two and zero, but definitely we need to get better. Some things we need to fix uh, offensively. We need to kind of finish more, and defensively we need to we got to tackle better. Oh, okay. So those are two main, I think, concerns from me for sure. I think Coach Garcia is probably about the same. Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I noticed the first half of the game was it was tie six six, and it seemed like I was like, man, all right, this is a pretty evenly matched game. Not sure, sure was it, but then the boys came out at halftime and just started crushing. What did you tell them at halftime? What, what was what was that conversation <laughs> was at halftime that brought them out and brought out a different gameplay? It was kind of cool. I told them 
So guys, we gotta be more physical. We gotta come out, we gotta, we gotta jump on them early. We get the ball first, we gotta score. And that worked out pretty well, first play. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> and then I said, we're gonna score. We'll get, we'll, we, then we'll kick the ball off, we'll hold them. We'll get the ball, we'll score again. And kind of, kind of manifested itself. I think the boys, I don't know, bought into that, I think. And it ended awesome. up working, you know? We uh, controlled the game after we scored that first touchdown. We, and after that, we kind of controlled the rest of the game with our run game, and I was very happy with that. So Yeah, you did tell me at the beginning of the season that if you could get that run game, controlling yeah. that run game, that you yeah. feel you had a very good chance of winning your games as long as you controlled that, that ground. Yeah. So far, it's working out, right? It's pretty good. All right. Greatest offensive or defensive challenges right now, or both? Like, what are your greatest challenges right same, now? Same thing. Physicality, I think, right now across the board, um, <clears throat> we got to get a little tougher. I think not necessarily uh, injuries, things like that, but just being aggressive and playing harder. I think. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and going into this game this this weekend, Friday with Legacy, I'm going to ask both of you the same question because you may both have a different answer for it. But what do you think the greatest threat from Legacy is? Now I get it, Legacy is 0 2, but. Records, records are not always ind indicative of what a team's skill level is, right? The two best teams in eight man so There you far. go. So, so uh, <clears throat> they're athletic. I think they're an athletic team. They got some, they got some speed on their team. And okay. <clears throat> I, I coach offense, but we can coach kind of, we, he's, he's defense, but I see both. You know. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think uh, if we could execute offensively, like I like we had a we had a great practice yesterday, so I'm excited about if we, trying to get. Uh, our better offensive showing uh, this week, and then defensively, with their speed, if we we kind of had some adjustments, if we could keep the the quarterbacks one of their better athletes, if we could okay. keep him in the pocket and keep him kind of contained, I think we'll do really really well. So so speaking about that, so I noticed on some of the stats we had uh, Whitley, who's who's a he's a he's a newer player, right? Yeah. To the team, but he's responsible for four forced fumbles yeah. so far. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this guy. Uh, he's, uh, he's kind of been a part of the program. Uh, I think when he was a freshman, right, coach? And then we had the COVID year. And then last year he was wanting to be a part of it. Didn't he end up, for whatever, I'm not sure what reason, not being a part of it. This year he's a senior, and we're just glad to have him out. He plays hard as a tough uh, kid, and he tries to do what's right all the time. So he's just one of those kids that he's kind of reaping benefits right now. Yeah, that's good. And let's get a couple questions for you guys in here, all right? What was the team's greatest obstacle to overcome this past Saturday against the Sun Blazers? Like, what do you guys individually, or did you both agree on an answer? What was the greatest challenge? Um, we decided that the Sun, like the Heat, <laughs> yeah. was our greatest challenge because <laughs> in the beginning we were very fatigued and tired and played uh, slow, okay. and then like after like halftime and stuff, we went out there and executed, did our blocks, played hard, and we just moved okay. one. <laughs> you tried? Yeah, I think after halftime, everyone kind of realized just. The heat, you gotta deal with this, so. Just kind of accepted it? Yeah, we got through it and started playing harder. Okay. What's your confidence level going into this game this Friday with Legacy? Both of you. What is your confidence level and yours? Uh, my confidence level is that we'll do uh, pretty good against them because uh, I've watched their film and I've seen like how they how they play, how they run. Okay. And I see that their quarterback runs like a lot of sweeps and stuff because he's fast, but if we blitz and do our job, we should be able to stop them. Okay. Yeah, I think I think the quarterback speed is gonna hurt us too much. We have faster guys, if not not the same speed, faster guys, and so you get a lot of confidence in your defense. Yeah. You they're gonna hold up and yeah. take care of that problem. Yeah, I think our defense will have no problem with it. Okay, what do you think your team's toughest challenge is internally coming into this game? Um, we gotta just play hard every play. We just gotta think that every play is like gonna be big, you know. So we just gotta go all, go all out and. Play, play with our heart. Play with heart. Okay. It looked like you had a lot of heart in that field, running 60 yards <laughs> <laughs> the other day. So tell us a little bit about that. How did that happen? How, like, there was a defense. Was your offensive line just held a hole open for you, or what? Like, yeah. Because after halftime, like, I was like, well, all right, we got to score. So my the offensive line blocked really well, and I just, I just ran. All right. And for those <laughs> that may not know, so Jerry here right now is at. 300, I think it's 345 yards on the season for rushing. Uh, this past game was 172 and a half rushing and 12 and a half receiving for. No, this last game was 237. Total? 
Russia. Oh, so they didn't update the stats then on the no, thing? Per game okay. is at 172. Oh, that's in per game. All right. So how many was this last game? 237. 237. Jerry, one of, Jerry's one of the ones that showed up pretty much every day in the summer, so I think his body's is about as good ready as it can be, you know, but you know, you never know when stuff like that will happen. So yeah. um, it's just next man up. I think our younger guys understand that. And okay. I think um, we put a lot of emphasis on our scout team during practice, those, those younger guys that are trying to give us a good look for our uh, offense, defense, whatever we're working. So <clears throat> I think those boys understand, hey, I'm, I'm here, I'm just as important as let's say our, 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 our starters, you know. Yeah. So <clears throat> with that mindset, I think uh, some uh, they understand it's just next man up. We, awesome. we, we, we can't we can't just let it get to us, you know. Obviously, it would hurt, you know. Yeah. But, uh, hopefully, I think the guys or something <laughs> like that can, uh, can, uh, can step up. You know, that's just what you hope for, you know. Well, I have a good feeling about. This Friday's game. You guys excited about it being a home game finally? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, that's going to be good, right? You get the home crowd coming in, you know, all your high school buds being able to come to the games and hanging yeah. out. And it should be a good turnout, right? Like, yeah, I hope so. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I hope, we, I hope we pack that place. I hope it's loud. I hope the band's playing. I hope. Yes, definitely. And that's that, like kind of what Jerry said, Trident said with the heat, the, the atmosphere was, I mean, having to play a neutral site game all the way down to Turkey. And he brought the boys' feet off that, so I mean. Well, and I was surprised. There was a lot of folks actually on the Clayton side yeah. of the field. Like I was surprised. It's a five-hour drip, and there was a lot of folks out there. But there was a lot that just kind of I think we need to get past. I think it was a great game, and like I told the boys at halftime, guys, if we make it late October, November, and into the playoffs, those some of those games could be Saturday afternoon games. We got to be ready to go, you know. So and it don't get any cooler around here in October either. <laughs> so <laughs> so just, learn that. <laughs> it was. I think it was a great game. It was a game we needed. I really think. Um, it, I really think the boys kind of got punched in the mouth a little bit, and then the way they responded, I was very, very proud of them. I was too. When they came out from halftime, I was like, "All right, there yeah. we go." They they came back. They realized what's going on. Yeah. But I was kind of curious whether it was the heat or not in the beginning that was just kind of dragging them down. We were, uh, our our pregame was a little sluggish and wasn't very happy with that and I told the boys before we even went in to come back out to start the game I said guys figure out what you need to do to get ready because I mean we're about to play a football game and every one, every one of these matters so we didn't take that what I said too, yeah. <laughs> too well but <laughs> after halftime we responded well so awesome well I don't have any more questions for you guys Do you guys have any questions or anything you want to say to the fans out there that will be watching you on Friday don't you have anything to add really no, I'm just uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we're kind of a bend, don't break type of defense so go. far. Um, I would like to see us get off the field, you know, a little bit more on third down, a little earlier in the drive to force punts where we're okay. not having to hold them out for four, you know, four downs when they get close to their goal line. But there were a lot of fourth downs that game. Yeah, yeah. we uh, <laughs> so far we've given up six points, and so defensively we're we're doing pretty good. And my coach said we made some changes to kind of get us a little faster on the field. So well, really I think yeah, so we think, we that think that that's gonna big changes. Yep. So yeah, just I agree, coach. And, Coach has done a great job. I just want to emphasize that six points that our defense has gave up. Um, after the first game, our offense actually gave up more points than our defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but again, Coach said that don't break. Right. <laughs> We're talking about like get off the field, not yeah. allowing them to kind of get into our territory as much. Because exactly. field position is huge. It is. If we could, if we can get them off the field a little earlier help our offense out a little bit more, you know? And I will say, even though it's only the second game, it did look like the players were getting more used to that, that narrow oh, yeah, field. Yeah. Like, yeah. the players are definitely adjusting to, to that eight-man yeah. stacks that they yeah. have going on out there. Yeah, we, 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 it's like I said, we're still learning every day, every every practice, every game is it's still something new for these guys. So And, and us as coaches, you know? So overall, just greatest part of it, 2-0. Awesome. That's, that's all we emphasize. I mean, stats are great. Jerry, Jerry's a great kid, and he he's done really well. But he understands the biggest thing for this team, the biggest thing there for this go. season, is the wins and losses. So. There you go. There you go. Well, I thank you guys for coming out. You guys sure you don't want nothing to say to your fans out there? So we have a barbecue uh, Saturday the tenth. The football barbecue from twelve to four. So come out and have some barbecue. Where can they get their tickets from? Um, any high, uh, football kid 
in football and high school football is selling them. So just go up to them if you know them, they'll sell to you. All right, and how much are they? They're $10 each. All right, awesome. And what does it help? Uh, it helps our football team raise money for trips or gear or equipment, whatever we need for just anything to help us out. I'll give them that <laughs> and come watch us and come watch us play against Legacy. Legacy. Mm-hmm. Legacy. 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 Yeah. Legacy Academy. Legacy Academy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say something about the first home game. We oh, yeah. really want them out there. Feel the oh, yeah. crowds. Yeah, it's going to be our first home game, so make sure you're there until the crowds and make some noise. Awesome. <laughs> so Royal Elix Legacy Academy will all be wearing our Hawaiian outfits. Oh, that's cool. Is that something the high school is doing? Yes. 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 All the games. Yes. Even the public. Yeah, we want the public. So don't come up oh. unless you're in your beach attire. Yep. Everybody has to. Everybody's yes. wearing it. It's oh awesome. my gosh. It's points for the school. We did not know this. We would have been so unprepared. I'm going to have to get on to Crescent. I told Crescent yeah. and Nathan should have known. Well, I'm definitely getting on to Nathan. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, cool. So you, everyone's gonna show. We gotta wear Hawaiian gear. Um, that's awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys again for showing up. Everyone, thanks for tuning in and, and listening to the polling pregame show. This is our third one. Uh, again, barbecue was on the 10th? September 10th. Yep. September 10th, 12 to four. Hit up any high school football player. They got the tickets for you, $10 each. They'll square you away. Make sure you're out there supporting the team. They need that stuff, all right? Again, thanks for coming. If you got questions, we didn't have any questions sent into our email this time, so I'm a little, I don't know. Send in some questions. We'll ask the coach, we'll ask the players what you got. Send them to klmx.sports at gmail.com or Better yet, if you show up to one of the games and you have some video or you have a photo that you took that you feel should be highlighted, send it to that email address as well and we'll see if we can get it put into the pregame show or at least onto the website so everybody can see what that moment was that you caught because I'm sure everybody else would love to relive that moment as well. So again, thanks everyone for joining us with the polling pregame show and we'll talk to you next week. Awesome, thank you guys. Thank you guys.